put on record a recent statement to President Buhari issued by the Catholic Bishops' Conference of Nigeria. Amongst other things, the statement said this, since the president who appointed the heads of the nation's security agencies has refused to call them to order, even in the face of the chaos and barbarity into which our country has been plunged, we are left with no choice but to conclude that they are acting on a script that he approves of. If the president cannot keep our country safe, then he automatically loses the trust of the citizens. He should no longer continue to preside over the killing fields and mass graveyards that our country has become. That's a pretty awesome statement from a bishop's conference in a country. But concern about partiality was also raised on the 24th of March by the highly respected former army chief of staff and defense minister, Lieutenant General Theophilus E. Danuma, who stated that the armed forces were, I quote, not neutral, they collude in the ethnic cleansing, his words, of riverine states by the Fulani militia. He insisted that, again, I quote, villages must defend themselves because depending on the armed forces, will result in them dying one by one. The ethnic cleansing must stop in all the states of Nigeria, otherwise Somalia will be child's play. I'd like to hear, therefore, what practical steps the UK government's taking to work with the government of Nigeria in developing effective solutions to bring an end to this escalating violence. And perhaps the noble baroness can tell us whether there is a strategic plan and what representations have been made directly. Now, I know that solutions are complex, but there's nothing to stop the minister calling on the government of Nigeria to recalibrate security arrangements and resource its forces as a matter of urgency in order to offer sufficient protection to vulnerable communities. My Lords, as I close, I want to thank noble lords who are participating in today's debate and take noble lords back to where I began, to the more than 200 people, mostly women and children, who were killed in sustained attacks on 50 villages by armed Fulani militia just this past weekend. People are dying daily. On June the 18th, in the Daily Telegraph, the Archbishop of Abuja described what he called, I quote, territorial conquest and ethnic cleansing and said, the very survival of our nation is at stake. This alone should serve as